person I was talking to. Okay, so you might not have RT today. Thank you. 
you, thank you, Anusha, and thank you, Pankaj. You know, you can tell that uh, all this work that we do, you know, we have a fabulous uh, internship team that actually makes it happen. Otherwise, it's too complicated to get all this stuff going. So I really appreciate it. Once again, a big shout out. Let's give a big round of applause for my internship team. Can you raise your hand, please? Joining in today. They are the future leaders because I can tell I mean, they are so driven, motivated, plus they are much more intelligent than me. That's really what it is. So I'm, I'm just very lucky to have them. And uh, you know, this club, the Bay Area Indian American Democratic Club, was actually launched in uh, 2013, January of 2013. <coughs> Senator Jim Bell, he's not here today, he couldn't make it today, but he was actually uh, at our membership meeting and it was uh, held in Saratoga. And uh, you know, first thing I would like to recognize our board members. Now I would like to recognize uh, a few board members that are here today. I think Mahesh Nihali is one of the board members. The founding board members. And uh, if we have anyone else, uh, we have a few more who are expected here. You know, like Yogi Chuk is a board member. We have, uh, oh yes, we have uh, Sandhya Narayan. Let's give it up for Sandhya Narayan. Sandhya, please. Okay. Almost forgot. Yeah. So sorry, Sandy. And uh, we have about nine board members, including Ash Kalra, your teacher, and I'm going to forget a few people. My phone is over there. I was trying to read it from my phone. So anyway, we'll get to it. So some of our other board members will be here as well, and we'll be actually calling them out. So you know, the reason why we actually did this club, it was the very first club back then, the very first Indian American club that was actually affiliated to the California Democratic Council, CDC. It was the very first one ever in the state of California, back in January 2013. And the club is now affiliated under Santa Clara County. And basically, we are out there helping candidates. We are, we are it's a grassroots movement. You know, our membership is involved and, and integrated. There's been so many happenings here in Silicon Valley, globally in Santa Clara, but also sometimes beyond Santa Clara. We had, uh, in Burlingame, we had uh, Nirmala Vanderpali who was running for uh, city council. And many of us, we went out and campaigned for her. So basically, we are out there to make sure that the right candidates are winning. And we are making progressive choices for not only our local area, for Santa Clara County, but also for uh, our state of California. And a big shout out to Yogi Chuk, one of the other board members. So, so that's the little background of the Bay Area Indian American Democratic Club. And, uh, and I'm so happy that all of you are here today. And it's, it's, it's a packed agenda. So, but, but we'll make it fairly informative and we'll get this one going. But I, I would like to find out how many of us here are US citizens? How many of us here are US citizens? So, so you know, I think uh, I still notice a lot of Indian Americans that basically don't jump over the fence. You know, we are like permanent residents. And actually I've heard, I've heard, and this is a true story, I've heard somebody say that I do not want to become a US citizen because then I would need to go for jury, jury duty. Right? <laughs> and, but it's, it's, a, it's a true story. It's a true story. And then, you know, I tried my little educational pitch, but sometimes folks are not listening. But with the changing political barometer of the country, the social barometer that has shifted since November, I think it's all the more important for each of us, each of us to engage and for all of us who are sitting on the fence, you basically jump over. Here is one more thing. How many of us are registered Democrats here? How many of us are registered Democrats? And I have this saying, I have this saying about sitting on the fence, you know, independence. You know, when you sit on the fence, you will fall off. <laughs> and, and so I, I really truly feel that we have to make choices in life. We have to make choices, we have to align, and that's the only way to move forward. And when we make those right choices, you know, good things happen. And I, I still remember when I was filling up my uh, voter registration when I first moved to California, I had to it over. Obviously, you know, I wanted to look at, should I really announce, you know, what uh, party I'm with? I thought it over, I did my little reading, and I said, you know, let me make a, let me make a choice. And I picked the uh, Democratic Party, and it has, it has worked out very well, you know, in terms of how I have brought some new ideas as a delegate, as an executive board member to the De California Democratic Party but also in terms of the impact that I've hopefully made locally. So that's really what we can do when we make clear choices. So uh, I do want to recognize Kansan Chu and Daisy who are here. Assembly member Kansan Chu. <laughs> and then I would like to recognize Sabuhi Siddiqui who is running for... Uh, she is running for San Jose Council District 9. And do we have any other prospective candidates running for any other office? 
Best, best was planning to run. Have you announced yet? 2020. 2020. <laughs> best was planning to run. Yes. Yeah. Tim Gillers leaves running for U.S. Senate. What does he that? U.S. Senate. U.S. Senate. All right. U.S. Senate. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So that's, let's give it up for uh, Tim. Okay. Anyone else? Should I start anyone? Else? Okay. So. Yes. 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 Yes, they, they, they are our chief guests. Oh, so we'll put them on. We'll put them all on the hot seat. They're not escaping here. They're not escaping here. All right. So did I have to say anything else? I think I think we are good at this point. Let's do this. I'm going to invite our our. Uh, well, we have one more board member coming in. So I'm going to wait for this board member to come in, and then we get the program going. Here we have Nadeem, Mohammed Nadeem coming in, he's one of our board members, one of the founding board members, and he ran for Santa Clara City Council, and hopefully we'll see him run and win. You know, so we have to, be, we are always there to support Nadeem, good man. And he's been endorsed by uh, the San Jose Mercury News many, many times. So, and, and we'll see a few more board, board, board members come in. But let's get the program started. I would like to invite our speakers, and unfortunately, you know, it's a panel. You are welcome to bring your food. We are a fairly casual audience here. We are fairly casual. So if you are eating in the midst of, uh, you know, sipping your water, I would like to invite uh, Mayor Pradeep Gupta. Please, join us. And we have a hot seat for Pradeep. Because we are going to put you to a few questions. Yeah. <laughs> and next up, we have the Gubertino Mayor, Savita Vedjanan. Yeah, <laughs> All right. And then we have uh, Arun Goyal, council member from uh, Dublin. And we are waiting for two more. We are waiting for two more. We are waiting for um, Rock of One. He's here. Raj is here. The, man, the invisible man. Let's give it up for Raj. Come on. Raj is not in here. I, I, uh, all right. Council member from Fremont. And then we are expecting Sharon Carr. Sharon Carr is a trustee. Uh, female trustee in uh, Union City. So please, have a seat. <laughs> 